Hey guys, it's Alex with Beard Adventures, and in this video, I am going to be doing a walkthrough of everything that I know about my new car. It's a Tesla, it's a 2021 Tesla Model Y, um, and it's, I'm super excited to show you what, everything about it. Um, so it's, it's kind of a long video, so if you're curious, if you haven't seen one of these, you know, stick around, you can see quite a bit. And then I also wanted to share with you guys that my mom is getting her 2021 Tesla Model X refresh very soon. Uh, so I will be doing videos on that as well. And we have been doing videos on her 2018 Tesla Model X uh, in the full self-driving beta. Soon I'm hoping to have the beta for the Model Y, but I enjoy driving it. A little bit more than you know how you have to for, to get the beta so I have not yet yet pressed the button but hope you guys enjoy the video all right so here's the 2021 Tesla Model Y V my car my new car so in the front plenty of space on here I guess some ba a bag of stuff in here right now the 20 inch wheels it's a 2021 tesla model y long range i went ahead and opened the trunk so we can show back here it is a five seater the white interior so here nice big storage area we put this in here for our trip that we're going to be doing here soon and you can fit a cooler Few different things back here uh, there's also another sub trunk right here it's about seven inches I think it, it is and you got two big pockets down here you do have a cigarette lighter 12 volt and you have easy buttons here to put the seats down if you needed to and go ahead and hit this button back seat cup holders I gotta turn off the music. There's two USB-C's right there. To open the doors, you push here and you pull on here. Ah, as you can see, and go ahead and get in the car. Pull the door shut. The air on. So from here. You can open the trunk, open the trunk, you can lock the doors. There's the map of where I am. I can hit the supercharger button. Shows all the superchargers. Not a whole lot in this area. If we hit north forward, no. North up. So that's Orlando and just they got them all the way, going all the way up. And if I hit them again, they're not so okay. So you can't see them. So you can see them all the way up through there, the grays and everything. Those are all the superchargers. Uh, how to find them? If I wanted to navigate, say Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. As of right now, with 177 miles, we would have to charge in Lake City, Cordell, Georgia, and Buford, Georgia, and we'd make it to Pigeon Forge with 16%, and there is a supercharger in Pigeon Forge. So, it would take 10 and a half hours, it's 591 miles. And then, let's go through, let me turn the air vent down a little bit, because that might be too loud. All the different settings 
All right, so from this menu, I can adjust the mirrors, the steering wheel, I can fold the mirrors, window lock, child lock, adjust the brightness of the screen. I can go over here to lights, auto, uh, front fog lights, I can turn those on or off from here. And dome lights, I can turn those on or off. Ambient lights, turn them on or off. Locks. So this is what can get into the car. Uh, display. This display right here. Uh, display mode is auto. Brightness is set to 100% because that's the best for video quality. Being able to see everything perfectly. So it doesn't get all those weird lines on there. Driving sets a standard steering mode to sport. Uh, I have it set to hold on um, stopping mode. You could do creep roll or hold. Uh, maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. So you don't even have to hit the brake unless it's like an emergency. Off-road assist, don't need that. Slip start, use to help free vehicle stuck in snow, sand, or mud, don't need that. Autopilot, I have not hit the button yet because I'm enjoying driving this normal. Um, I don't wanna do that just yet. Um, this is, we do have the full self-driving in this, but just not the full self-driving beta yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit until that, oops. Speed limit. I set it to go seven over. Uh, oops. Oh, oh, off. We'll do medium. Forward collision warning, medium. Lane departure avoidance, I do assist. Uh, I like that. So if you're like, slightly going off out of the lane it brings you back into the lane um, emergency lane departure avoidance blind spot collision warning chime uh, automatic emergency braking obstacle aware acceleration so if there's someone coming up about to rear end you your car my car will accelerate and get out of the way navigation don't want any volume I don't need it. it drives me nuts uh, you could set on turn on automatic navigation I don't want to because I don't always have a place to go safety and security sentry mode is on dash cam wait a second manual so auto save up to 10 minutes of video to your USB automatically when your vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event such as an accident or airbag deployment. Manual, tap the dash cam icon to save 10 minute recording to your USB when uh, press and hold the icon to pause recording. On honk, automatically trigger a save on horn press. Okay, accept. Yeah, so manual. Okay. Park assist chimes. I don't really think I need that on. Cause I'd rather not use park assist, but I want to test it. So I'll leave it on for now. Um, cabin overheat protection is on. It does use more energy. So if I'm going on a trip, I'll probably turn that off. Um, and I do have, in this, I do have data sharing on. You have to accept it, and it, so it can automatically send things to Tesla to help fix the cars. Um, driving, I guess. Service, you got car wash mode, so if you go into a car wash, it turns off all the automatic stuff. You can adjust the headlights. I don't know what that does, necessarily. Uh, you can go into towing, wheel configuration, the stuff I feel like I'm not going to do because it's in the service and I don't want to break anything. 
Um, so yeah, it's Model Y, long range. It's 1,500 miles in the car. Uh, full self-driving capability, premium connectivity. All right, and moving on. So the music, I logged into my Spotify. You can go to radio. Uh, you can connect to a phone. You can do streaming, so it's like the um, this is part of the updated the connect. Ex, the ex, words are hard. The connectivity thing, I think. So like you go to top stations, and there's a bunch of stations on here. Tesla favorites. So I'm guessing what pe other people are listening to in their Tesla, and then it's putting into a favorites. Uh, Spotify, you got the karaoke, tune in, you can tune into different like FM stations, I believe that's what this is. Um, I listen to strictly Spotify, so I don't really know all the other ones, but you have those options if you have this car. Um, before I click on that next one, there's three sections here, so I can go over here. Um, so I've gone three miles since my last place that I went to, or not three miles, three minutes away. I went one mile, uh, sh shows your PSI when the car's on, um, of each tire. All right. So then here we have the cameras. So the rear camera, left camera, right camera, so all your blind spots. Really, you don't even need the side ones. So if you don't want to, if that throws you off too much, you could swipe down, and you could just see the rear camera. And when you see a car coming up on here, uh, and you see the back of the car, you look out the window and you'll see it. Um, but you could also just double check. These are your blind spots. These cameras are right underneath the this side mirrors. And then this button is for your windshield wipers. I set it to auto and there's another way of getting to that I will show you it's on the stalic um, and here call I'm not gonna press it because it brings up a bunch of phone numbers of the people that I've called calendar you can uh, hook your calendar up to your mobile device here so I, I use Google Calendar so then I can do all that Here's the camera button again. So, you know, energy, this shows the consumption. Uh, your, when it's down here below the zero, that's your regenerative braking. So that's like your car's recharging itself. And then this, these high peaks are like when I accelerate very fast. <laughs> um, last 30 miles and then charging I'm currently sitting at 176 miles I can set the limit to like a trip if I was going on a long trip I would set this higher to like all the way up to a hundred percent ninety percent something like that but I'm not going on any trips right now so leave it about right there so just under eighty percent uh, scheduled to departure so I can set it to the scheduled departure so it'll charge up to what you need it to by a certain time the last time this car supercharged um, was in Jacksonville Florida before I got the car and it was a dollar 21 so they didn't really charge it much um, the web you can open up the like the internet it takes a little bit to load um, I haven't really done it this so whatever light speed app is I don't even know what that is um, I don't if I'm parked like I'll use my phone instead of going on here uh, entertainment we have Skyforce reloaded and a lot of these you can um, use like a controller or the touch screen uh, the battle of 
Polytopia, Solitaire, Cat Quest, Fallout Shelter, Stardew Valley, Backgammon, Cuphead, Beach Buggy Racing with Teslas, you play chess, 2048, Asteroids, Centipede, Super Breakout, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Millipede, Tempest, Gravitar. I think it'd be cool to do a live stream of me just playing different games on here. Um, maybe YouTube. I'm not sure if I'll do it on YouTube or like something like TikTok. Um, we'll see. Maybe I can do both at the same time. Do a Twitch stream. Okay, in theater, got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube, Twitch, and Tesla Tutorials. Uh, if you don't know much about your car, Tesla Tutorials is a great place to learn about your car. There, I don't know how much of that you guys missed. I keep moving my phone. All right, and then we have the toy box. So I'm gonna roll down. Let's, let's go through these first. So, Rainbow Road makes a road all rainbow. It plays a song. It's more cowbell. The Santa mode, it makes uh, your car into that on the road. And then you can put jingle. Uh, your turn signals turn into jingle, like jingles. Uh, Mars makes your map look like a map. Sketch pad. Let's... Uh, If you can read that, you should do that. All right, clear. Now let's go back to toy box, sketch pad, romance, get cozy. And it plays, so it puts your heat on. Uh, you tap on the screen, plays some kind of romance music tracks I feel like I would be terrible at this because I am musically challenged um, yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna open it up and see Can... so I'm gonna bring I don't know how to oh Oh, okay. I see now. So I tap where so this so this is an acoustic bass drum along this whole thing. And then acoustic snare would be there. Hand clap. Open hi hat is in this one. I don't know what I'm doing. If you're musically inclined, this might be good for you uh, to play around with. I'm just hitting buttons. Emissions, you know, your normal. It makes it sound like there's a fire in different parts of the car. 
You can change the fart. Then you got boombox. Um, yeah, this is my favorite part. So I gotta take you down. Okay. So you got your regular windows, you know? This is how you open the door to get out. You just press that button. Um, back to my favorite part. Okay. So you can change the horn sound to all these different things. Now you can add other ones too, which that will be another video. But La Cucaracha? It's so loud. It's so fun. It's so fun. Um, and then you can set your driving to like the ice cream truck. You could set it to Caribbean music. You can do rainforest. Um, yeah, it's just okay. So then also there's a summon sound. So if you summon the car, it will play different music as well. Like the snake music. There's Polynesian elevator music. Um, harp, rock and roll, merry-go-round. There's all kinds of different things that you can set it to. Um, I'm going to set it to the ice cream. So if I'm summoning it. So that's the boom box. And that's all. That's everything out of the toy box. Okay, so this is heated seats down here. Heated seats. Turn on the air. You can adjust the air since this black line all the way across that's your vent and so no one's sitting in the passenger seat right now so you can't i mean i can turn it on but it doesn't turn it on automatically because there's nobody sitting there i can adjust this and it seems like this would be silly but this works really well it's so easy to adjust um so you don't actually have to mess with a vent you know and those little wheels and stuff on it it does have the biohazard mode um it has dog mode camp mode which are great for it so like dog mode uh climate and screen will stay on after you exit sentry mode will be disabled for pets never leave a child unattended camp uh Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. So that's good to know. I don't need any of that stuff on. Climate will turn off after you leave the car. So that's that. Got your front defog and or whatever those things are called, like words and stuff. <laughs> down here I have um, it's two phone chargers so my phone fits perfectly in here wireless chargers and then you have storage down here plus you have uh, down on this you have two it's hard to see but there's two USB-C ports there I'm getting ready to I just purchased something that will go in there and I will do another video on that. Got two cup holders here. Open this up. Nice big center pencil here with another cigarette lighter there. And then if you're trying to figure out where the hazard button is, it's up here. It's up on the ceiling. So that turns on the hazards. There's your lights. And then if I wanted, quick controls, 
Why can't I find it? Oh, there it is. Right here. That's how you open the glove box. So there's no, there's no handle on the glove box. It's all sleek into the design. Cup holders in the back in the middle seat. So, and pin to drive. So whenever you go to start the car, you put the foot on the your on the brake. You put your pin in, and that's how you drive. Um, so these guys here. So if I push this to the right like that, from the left to the right. Yeah, that's how you skip a song. You can go back from this way to that way. Start the song over. Volume up on your music. Don't want that right now. It's recording. And then over here, if I was an autopilot, this will change the speed of the autopilot um, to lower or you know faster or slower. This in this way adjust how close you are to the car in front of you. The stocks, regular turn signals, uh, flashing your, your brights if you pull towards you. Um, I think when you push on it is um, changing it from auto, um, auto brights. Push in once, or no, so you push all the way in and it sprays. You push in once and it should, it brings up this down here so another way of doing that down here over here for your other your other stock you push in for park you push pull all the way up for reverse all the way down for drive and then once you're in drive let me put in the, the code to drive here so if if you're in drive so it's in drive it's on hold you tap down Wait, where does it tap up? You tap up, and it puts you in neutral. So all the way down for drive, all the way up for reverse. Okay, so if you're in reverse, you tap down for neutral. All the way down for drive, tap up, it puts you in neutral. So that makes sense. And then in for park. So now let's, let's go back into drive here. Oh, I got the rainforest is on driving sound we're going to turn that off um, so something that you can do here you can move this around once the car is on you can, it go but it just goes back to normal but you can move it around when you're on the road you can see the road and cars around you and stuff too all right so real quick on the outside you have a camera this is your your side cameras here so there's one there on there and then you have a camera up here on the door there is a camera on the inside up top there and then there's a camera on the outside up there as well and then there's sensors all around the car and then there is a rear camera right there so Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a long one. Um, be great if you guys would subscribe. And I'll be doing a lot more Tesla videos in the coming weeks, months. Thanks guys. Bye.